So, I wanted to go see Paranormal Activity, The Marked Ones. It's directed by Christopher Landon, who previously brought us Burning Palms. It stars Andrew Jacobs uh, as Jesse, George Diaz as a kid named Hector, and Male Frame makes a comeback in a cameo position, anyway, as Allie. And, um, yeah, no. Just... No, not, not, no. No. Okay, so, so maybe it's just me, and I just don't quite understand this whole found footage phenomena. Why? Why, dear God, why are these people carrying their cameras around everywhere, filming stuff that no one would ever reasonably want to film? Especially when it comes to things where, you know, you're, you're going into this incredibly dangerous place, and it's couple folks with guns and armaments and things like that, and then you with a camera and a flashlight. And you're just going along with them for no reason, you're trying to rescue someone maybe, or stop some horrible demon thing, or something. Why? Just... I, I, I know you need to have the camera to make the rest of the movie work, but it's just... could you... Could you give us a reason for them to actually be carrying around the camera all the time? A couple movies have done it and done it successfully. First Paranormal Activity had a pretty reasonable explanation for, you know, why they're filming everything. Chronicle. Chronicle had a pretty good way of sort of handling the whole, you know, using a camera for everything. It, it, it worked. Um, and, and The Blair Witch Project. The Blair Witch Project had a, had a nice sort of framework work for why everything was uh, being filmed. That works. Just, just give us a decent reason. I, I, I know part of the thing is here. Hey, it's a couple kids who just got a camera and they're filming stupid stuff. That's fine. But then there's stuff that they just wouldn't film. I. And and while we're on the subject, why are you filming as if like someone's in the midst of an epileptic seizure? I. I know handheld cameras, you know, take kind of shaky stuff, but not that bad. It's just, it's just not that bad. People can reasonably hold a handheld camera still, at least still enough. You don't have to film the movie as if you're purposely trying to give a huge subset of people, like, severe cases of motion sickness. I'd, I'd like to be able to go into these uh, one of these films not having to fear for, you know, wanting to puke into my popcorn for half the film. It would be, it would be nice, you know, you, you just, you don't have to film it that badly, guys. You just don't. It, it just, it's just not mandatory. As far as this film's concerned, if you've seen the trailer, you know the plot of the movie. That's that's really it. There's nothing, there's nothing off the wall. No real curveballs. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, you know, a couple kids. One of them gets uh, marked by some sort of demon. Starts developing weird powers, sort of, but not really. More like you know he's being protected by something than any real powers on his own. But uh, so he starts developing those little abilities, and then things go bad and. The other friends try and sort of save him, and things go all to heck. Uh, that's that's pretty much it. About what you'd expect. It's it's decently well executed. It's pretty standard for a lot of the horror movies that I've seen lately. Anyway, it's um, not really scary. It's just lots of jump scares. Decently effective jump scares, mind you, but just jump scares. No, uh, doesn't do anything to really unsettle you, unnerve you. Doesn't doesn't do anything really scary. It's just Boo! And that's that's pretty much it. And and you can you can tell when they're all coming. Uh, it's it's no surprise. But uh, but it's it's decently fun. It has some some nice little bits like uh, they they start doing a little Ouija board kind of thing with the the spirit that's you know protecting the uh, the one kid uh, Jesse. Except it's not a Ouija board. They're they're playing um, they're playing with a Simon. If you don't know what a Simon is. Um, it's made a little bit of a comeback recently, but it was a thing from the 70s, 80s, I think, and um, 
it was a little memory game, you know. It, it would uh, there were there were four lights on a round little disc, and you'd you'd they, they'd uh, flash in whatever pattern, make a sound, and you'd have to repeat the pattern after it. It, it was a fun, simple little game, right? But um, two of the colors were red and green, and so in the movie, you know, they ask a question, and it it beeps green for yes and red for no, and so. You know, at one point it won't stop beeping no, right? So they have to get all afraid and pull out the batteries and yeah, yeah, pretty much. That's that's kind of that's kind of about what you'd expect. If that's that's the movie, um, entertaining fluff, nothing really special, nothing exceptionally scary about it. Um, I, I, I got really annoyed with this one in particular, with the, um, with the found footage aspect, because it just wouldn't settle on any one interesting bit long enough for you to really see anything. It just, just would pan by really quickly, and, and you, you couldn't focus on anything. You couldn't see any of the background details that they were trying to provide you with. I, it was just... It, it sort of gave me a headache about halfway through. But... Uh, Found footage. What do you expect? So I've seen some comments out there about how this film is expected to revitalize the Paranormal Activity franchise. I'm not sure how effective that's going to be. I, I mean, unless expectations have been driven extremely low by the last couple uh, films in the franchise, which I have not seen, I, I don't know how that's going to happen. It's at best sort of par of the course. Uh, the actors don't do anything spectacular, but they're they're certainly not bad. They're they're effective in their roles. You know, it's it's just a brainless fright. Uh, you know, like jump scare fest, um, and that's that's pretty much it. Um, you know, it's it's a decent enough plot, decent enough story. Nothing nothing really nothing really to write home about. But um, yeah, I, I suppose if the last one or two was really 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 bad. Uh, this one might improve it somewhat because I mean it's it's decent for its genre, so you know there's there's that I suppose. So if you're a fan of decently performed jump scare ridden horror films that utilize found footage as their central conceit, um, go see this movie. It's probably right up your alley. I may sound like I'm talking down about it, but it's par for the course for that sort of film. Um, everyone else, however, stay far away. There's nothing in this movie at all that would cause someone who doesn't like any of those things to enjoy themselves. It does nothing new. Um, it doesn't really utilize found footage in a way that's easy to follow for someone who doesn't like the, the, the style. It's just... it's just not for you. Um, now, if you saw the film and you completely disagree, and I can see why some people might, uh, please, you know, let me know why, and uh, until next time, folks, uh, enjoy film.